You're watching Royal Romance, a BBC special event. Good evening, I'm Prentice Popplewell. When Prince Harry fell in love with a gorgeous American starlet, we all went, ah. But when Meghan Markle wanted to do things a little differently, some went, ah. <laughs> but this isn't the first mixed race royal couple who had to endure this sort of hostility. Tonight, we look back at the lesser known Duchess of Clerkenwell and the relationship that almost brought down the entire monarchy. This is Royal Romance. <laughs> the year was 1972. I had made my first journey to America, and there I met the man of my dreams. His name was Jimmy J. Robinson. But I was known up and down these streets as Thunderstick. <laughs> And my ass was about to live in a castle. <laughs> Thunderstick was a comedian, street poet, and black exploitation actor, perhaps best known for his films The Return of P.T. Biscuit Bits and Bitch, I Will Shoot You Right in the Face. But when I met Jimmy, he told me his primary occupation was karate, and I found that so refreshing. <laughs> The other royals, they, they they didn't understand Jimmy. Yeah, I was both ahead of and way behind my time. <laughs> I'll admit, when my niece brought Thunderstick home, I was a bit skeptical, mainly because he threw a bag of cocaine on the table and said, "Nobody leaves the room until this bag is empty." <laughs> Jimmy brought fun to the royal family. He would stay up all night drinking and reciting limericks about how unattractive our mothers were. Yet he would also vow to have sexual relations with all of them. And then I demonstrated exactly how I was going to do it using an ottoman. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Tow that thing down to the threads. At official events, he requested to be introduced as the Duke of Duke. And I'll never forget the poem that he performed. I got me a palace surrounded by class. I got two corgis gonna bark at your ass. When I raise my royal scepter, all my lady subjects bow. They say, damn, Thunderstick, give me the thunder now. Come on, Ren, you doing this? He performed that at the christening of Prince William. <laughs> but for all his foibles, Jimmy helped modernize the monarchy. He knighted the first black American, transforming Mixalot into Sir Mixalot. <laughs> and Jimmy was fabulous with children. Take a wild ride to Banbury Cross. See a fine lady up on a white horse, rings on her fingers, bells on her paws. That funky bitch was loud when I blew that orgasm out of drawers. <laughs> Y'all ain't team, right? But the media could be ruthless. And you better believe they hated my catchphrase, take a look at my big black ass. <laughs> and in the end, we drifted apart. As much as we had in common, we were from different worlds. Also, he cheated on me with a Waffle House waitress. I did do that. Scattered, smothered, and covered, baby. <laughs> Let's take a quick break. When we return, a clip from Thunderstick's Kung Fu Santa film, Ho Ho Hi Yo, on Royal Romance. <laughs>